Who, what's up people, this is Mr. Brandon here, and today we have Truth from the Chronologist. And Truth is a control voltage logic gate, which has five logic gates. Nope, I just noticed that number five is covered up by the label right there. That's not a big deal. Anyways, uh, what we're going to be doing is combining, not really combining, but using four different LFOs together to create one rhythmic LFO pattern in the end. These gates are going to decide when a signal goes through and when a signal doesn't and how that signal behaves, which will sound like this in the end. <laughs> So let's go ahead and open up a new window and build this. All right, so we're gonna start with this combinator. Now I've already created a pattern for it, the same pattern from what you just listened to. So let's start building everything. Let's go ahead and right click in the empty space in the combinator and create a Thor. And in this Thor, we're gonna use the, oops, there it was, smooth wobble and turn off this auto, auto wobble. And we are good with that for now. Underneath that, we're going to right click Go to utilities and create truth. And underneath truth, we're gonna shift right click. Go to utilities again and create our spider CV merger and splitter. And then underneath that, we're going to right click utilities and create pulsar dual LFO. And right after that, I'm gonna hit command D to duplicate that device, control D if you're on PC. And this is all that we need. So if I play it right now, it just sounds like this. And that's just the smooth wobbler synth because nothing else is plugged in. But let's go ahead and take a look at the routing and then we can start changing things along with hearing the sound so that you know, so that you can hear how things change. So flip the rack around and we're gonna take CV, the CV output from LFO one in our first pulsar and put that into the A input of gate one in truth. Take the CV output of LFO two from the first pulsar and put that in the gate input B for gate one. We're gonna continue doing the same with the second one, but we're gonna put those in the gate two slot for A and B, just like before. And now we're gonna combine these outputs into one CV signal. That's what our spider CV is for. And for our merged input, we're going to put that into CV input one for Thor. So even if we play now, nothing is gonna happen. We need to go inside of Thor and take one of these open slots Come down and open our CV input, select one, set the amount to 100, and our destination is going to be filter one frequency. So now when we play, we still won't notice anything because we only have our A signal going through. That's because we do not have our second LFO turned on in Pulsar, which of course you don't have to be using Pulsar. I choose I chose Pulsar because I already own it, and the LFOs are so much stronger than LFOs from other synths such as Thor, which is already inside of Reason. So let's go ahead and turn those signals on and listen. It should be very glitchy now. To have something a little bit more smooth. First thing we want to do is turn on tempo sync for all of these LFOs. And for this first LFO, we're going to put it on, let's see, 16.4. And the second LFO will be 2.4. I'm gonna turn the level all the way up on that one and keep this one at 50. We're gonna turn this waveform to a sine and this one to a sawtooth and our results sound like this now. So not glitchy like before, but still not our end result. Now on the second one, we're gonna flip these waves so that this one is a sawtooth and oh, that's already a sign. And we're gonna turn the rates on these to four, four for both of them. They're gonna be the same. Notice that these lights are still a little bit off from each other, and that is because of the waveforms that they're using. Now for the levels on these, again, it's gonna be opposites like what we had before. So this level will be all the way up, but instead of turning this one down to below 50 or at 50, we're gonna bump it up to around 70. So not all the way up, but still not all the way down. So now when we play, it's still not gonna be that big of a difference because we need to have some more settings in truth. So let's go ahead and make those changes before we do that. Instead of having our test mode set to this greater than zero, we're gonna make them both rising. And for our result mode, we're gonna make those difference. So now when we play, this is when we should have something a lot more rhythmic. <laughs> So 
So currently both of our gates are set to AND gate, but another gate that I really like is the B gate. So this is a B gate, so let's hear that. And just to kind of hear what all the different gates do, start changing through these and just listen to them a little bit. Anyways, that's just a little look at what Truth can do with LFOs. I'm having a lot of fun with this device. I don't completely understand how everything works, but that is okay. I'm going to continue using it. And even if I don't ever completely know what each thing is, uh, hopefully I can get an understanding of how it affects things. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Chronologist, for this wonderful device. And I will catch you all later.